Aaron, you guys, uh, offense, especially early on, very hard to come by. What was Ellis doing that, that made him so effective? Yeah, I mean, he had a mix of going and, and making some pitches when he when he had to. Um, you know, I thought in the first and second inning, we had some opportunities there and actually hit the ball well. G smokes the ball to center after the judge double um, or E7, whatever. Um, and then and then I thought Squid had a good at bat where uh, the next inning, a runner in scoring position lines out to end the inning. So I thought we were having and, and a couple balls that we hit to the fence and stuff. So I thought we were having some decent at bats against him, but again, just not creating enough traffic against him. And he, and he was able to make some pitches and 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 have a little bit of a mix. How much does that wear on an offense after you go inning after inning and you guys just can't seem to, to get anything going? Oh, I, I mean, we're. Uh, I mean, we're we're grinding and in the fight, and so I don't really worry about that so much. I mean, we gotta, you know, we've hit a, this last week where you know we haven't, um, you know, put up the runs that we expect to um, consistently. So we got to do that. But I don't I don't feel like it's necessarily that effect or anything. I feel like the guys are uh, in the right frame of mind, have the right focus, expecting it, and uh, we just got to keep at it. Wandy Peralta has been very effective this season. What were you seeing from him this afternoon? I think I got it. Wandy has been effective. What was I seeing? From, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. struggled on it. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, infield in the first hit. It's a, kind of that chopper down the line against them. Then they, you know, dump one in another place. Um, you know, so a little bit, a little bit unfortunate today, but probably stuff-wise not quite as crisp today. Um, obviously been used a lot lately, so um, maybe just a, a, a tick off from a stuff standpoint, but also, you know, they dumped some out there against them too. Joel Sherman, you have the next question. Aaron, you mentioned uh, the offense not producing much over the last week. Is there a commonality when your offense doesn't produce runs? I don't think so. I, I mean, I think, you know, you know, for for a lot of the year, you know, obviously the, the ball on the ground's hurt us. The double play ball, you know, has, has, has hurt us a lot of the year. You know, hasn't been as much of that lately other than obviously the game the other day in, in Anaheim. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes a strikeout ball gets you. Um, so I think it's been a little bit of everything, but I, I feel like we're in a different season now than, than where we were evaluating the first few months where, you know, there were a lot of situations where we were probably putting the ball on the ground in, in situations that, that kind of hurt us. If I could just follow, you had one double play that was a killer today with Voight. You yeah. could have gotten the lefty-righty matchup there with Odor, who you were bringing in anyway. Can you go through your thought process? Why Voight? Um, just, again, you know, similar to the other day when, when I hit Voight uh, in Anaheim against a right. Just a, um, just, just a matchup that I sided with in that spot, you know, with a couple runners out there, um, down a couple. Um, just felt like it was a slightly better matchup um but but you know it was a close call for me and and would have been comfortable you know if it was Ruggie in that spot go next to brian hoke aaron how do you view that ninth inning with chapman and how much concern do you have that he really hasn't been automatic this year um i thought he i thought he finished the inning pretty well which was good to see when he started to teeter a little bit there he was able to rein it in i thought execute there those final couple hitters you know obviously the strikeout to start the inning where it, with the wild pitch obviously hurt um and then uh you know hayes hayes looked like he got fisted and dumped one in and then he walked a guy but it was encouraging to see him after that walk where I thought he was losing the strike zone. And then even with the next guy where he's got maybe behind in the count, I thought he, I thought he caught himself and corrected and, and executed some pitches there to finish off the inning, was, which was good to see. Dave Lennon, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, we, we look at these games from the outside and see that the Orioles aren't, you know, doing very well and, and, and think these are teams that you guys have to 
make hay against like the Rays are at 18 and one against them this year. I mean, how do you how do you rationalize that? I know on the outside we have a different view than you guys do, but when you struggle against a team that that you know hasn't hasn't performed very well, you just chalk it up as as kind of one of those things. Yeah, I mean, look, these games are super important, and we're trying to win them. And you know, we got held down enough today, so that's frustrating and unfortunate. But um, you know, we got a we got a big one tomorrow that we got to grab.